Now coming up to the introduction, uh, we need to know three major components of power consumption. The first one, the power consumed by combinational logic or combinatorial logic and very less, so gate re resizing for power reduction were not used. Secondly, the power consumed by flip-flops and then thirdly, power consumed by the clock buffer tree in the design. So uh, what do you have uh, to say our audience uh, regarding uh, why we need uh, these major components for power consumption and what actually flip-flops and the buffer and, uh, and the combinational logic indicates? Uh, uh, we use clogged uh, gates. Why do we use? That's a big question. Uh, we do use clogged gates for uh, uh, lowering the power consumption. So there are three different ways uh, how the power is consumed. One, as you told, uh, the combination logic, uh, which is very less, uh, that does uh, consumes power. And the other is a flip-flop. And um, the third one would be the clock buffer tree in the design. But uh, here what we, we are going to see is uh, how we could reduce the power. So that is the main concept behind uh, today's uh, topic, right? Yes, how we could uh, reduce the power using uh, clocked gates. Well, let's have a look on the second case, what says that RTL clock gating has potential of reducing both the power consumed by flip-flops and then the power consumed by the clock distribution network. But how? So, well, it's in the mind of our audience, but let us have a look on what, with an example, that how we can understand that how it works without the clock gating. So the old data recirculated when INC is low through MUX, and so what is the problem here? Then three MUXs are needed to maintain the old data. 